It's a nice two year old. I grunted at him a little bit. I think he's kind of tore up a couple times, so he's a little less than excited to come in here. So he didn't get skunked. Positive. Sorry about the camera being jerky. We're zoomed in pretty good. And he walked right next to us and just kind of walked away. Same way he came in, it was just a weird bark. He's actually walking with wind. Just, I, I guess he's just young and dumb. So we have our first toe coming in right now. It's 6 
So in traditional Shane fashion, I absolutely, I was shaking so bad. And I must, again, I, I didn't stop the camera and rewatch it back. Oh. Oh my freaking God. I have terrible cell phone signal up here. I just, I just watched him. I watched him fall over up here. So whatever I did down here, he was at 51 yards. Should have been a chip shot with this 10 point of, you know, so anyways, I, I, I had to have been back. He literally just hunched up and jumped over the fence and stood there. And you guys will see all this. I, mean, I, I had a pretty good film of all of it. Well, then he turned and he was coming back. The reason he was coming back is because the scent was blown right at him more for a tone heat. So the, his brain took over, or his appendage took over, and he started coming back. He walked right back here to the side, and there's just a branch right in the way of where that is. And he gave me a 40-yard shot, and I just double-lunged him, and he dropped seven yards. I watched him do the funky chicken and do the flop. Oh, my God. What a flipping deer. It's warm. It shouldn't happen. The other night when I was up here, I passed on a 150 class 8 point. It was a great deer. It really was. And I'm not... I'm not saying that... I'm, I'm super thankful for to be able to hunt where I hunt. I'm in this great state of Kansas. Taxes are real high, but the deer are real big too. So, um, And uh, uh, this, this, this year... It's, it's been pretty incredible. I just retired 20 years of service. and But the other night, that eight point came in and I decided not to take him. And yeah. So the other night I was sitting at my father-in-law and him and his best friend, Wayne. Burl's 76 and Wayne's 83. They go out to Colorado. They literally doubled up on mule deer. Um, and I hope to, at that age, I still got it in me. I still, oh, by the way, now that I see this shirt, I've never killed a deer without KEO swag on it. So you may want to go to the store and get some because they're pretty freaking lucky. But, anyways, uh, so I passed on that eight point. Um, and then with Burl out here, this exact deer walked by. I was watching as we were sitting at the dinner table. And I was pretty upset. And, uh, and so, you know, nothing produced yesterday. And then today, um, I seen a little spike buck right there. And, uh, and it became... In, right in behind him came this monster. I mean, giant. And I don't know, again, we'll have to go back and watch the film, but I don't know if the first shot was, it looked a little bit back to me, but when I zoomed in, it looked like it was way off. Like the arrow came out right in front of his hind quarter. And that, I wasn't, I was, I think I was liver back, but Again, until I watch the video, I won't know. And I'm rambling because this deer is so freaking big. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the hill. I'm going to grab the tractor. And I'm going to call for some help because I don't think I can. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to drag this deer by myself. But... All right. So I just went down to the bottom of the hill. I got the tractor. I literally watched him tip over right here in front of us. So I'm going to step the fence here and take you with us. See if we can get on to him. 
I don't really think that I need to track his blood, but so as it turns out, my first shot was not bad, but terrible because I went and got the arrow and I went and got the arrow and uh oh yes yes oh 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 okay black and white cliff that first shot was horrendously bad but the second shot the innie was up here and here's the Audi. Both lungs. Get you some of that. Oh. So, oh. Put this in perspective here just a little bit. Oh, golly. Look at that son. Oh, all right. I'll get him down to the bottom of the hill. And I'll do a post hunt after we get, get them all cleaned out. And all that other good stuff. Oh, freaking awesome. Yes. Uh, he's a mainframe. Uh, he should have been 13, I guess, because he's got trash down here on, on one of his brow tines. And, well, he's got some on both sides. So he's about 13, maybe 14 points. He's broke off right here. He had a, a matching, uh, whatever that is, on both sides. But he had broke it off on this side. I know um, I was babbling when I did the post hunt um, after I had shot him. So I've got a little bit of composure to me now. Um, so we hunted this deer. Uh, like I said, I passed a, a pretty good eight point the other day. Um, and um, because this year, uh, like I said, I just retired. So I was, I had the time to hunt haven't gone back to work yet so I had the time to hunt and and uh, I was gonna take the time to shoot one of the, the two or three biggest deer that we had on the on the farm so um, he just happened to give me the opportunity tonight at 515 um, so at the end of the day uh, he looks great um, I did make a, an absolute terrible shot I was shaking so bad in that blind uh, when I pulled the trigger on the first bolt all I could see was the green arrow go and it was somewhere in the center of his body and I was like oh that's a pretty good shot I was so excited that I didn't realize that it was just in front of his hind quarters through his guts um, so and then he literally jumped the fence and he looked like he was hit real hard that's why I thought I you know got both lungs and and maybe clipped the liver or something and then he started walking back up the uh, towards me and uh, I put a second bolt in him at 40 yards and he literally went 50 yards up the ridge and fell over and died. Um, we double lunged him the second time. Um, first time, hey, I'm going to buy a, buy a lottery ticket tonight because you're not going to get two chances at a deer like this most days. So I hope everybody enjoyed the hunt. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, we've hunted quite a bit this year. Um, hopefully uh, Jen can get out. Uh, we got a bunch more. Well, we have two more uh, caliber deer of, of this caliber up on the farm, and uh, hopefully we can get, she can get a bolt in one of them. So, thanks for watching, and uh, you know, stay tuned. We'll have some more coming. All right, so we're gonna put them on the scale here. Let's see where it goes. Anybody have any guesses? All right, folks, the official dress weight is 210 pounds. 
dress. That's all the guts I've got. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, but I want to send a huge congratulations to my buddy Shane on an absolutely incredible buck. That that buck is incredible in any state. It doesn't matter where you're at across the United States, that deer is an absolute trophy. And uh, Shane works hard to make that happen. He puts a lot of time and effort into that property and the place and the area that he hunts there. And uh, it's it's a well-deserved deer. He didn't make a great shot, but he made an awesome follow-up shot. And that's important and a good, a, a good lesson learned there. You know, uh, when you make a questionable shot, you always want to get another bolt or arrow into that that animal as quick as you can and uh, try to put that that deer down as ethically as possible and and Shane was able to get another shot into him and he smoked him on the second one ran a couple uh, 20 yards and tipped over dead so congratulations to him on that and an even bigger congratulations to Shane on finally retiring from the military he was in the army for 20 years and what a feat that is uh congratulations on retirement and uh shane's gonna have a lot of hunting trips ahead of him so congratulations and thanks for watching everybody we'll have more videos coming soon